What is going on, beautiful people? Today, we're going to be talking about how some narcissistic people will tell you exactly what you are about to get to, get into when you're dating them or get into a relationship with them. If you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. So boom, yeah, 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 yeah. So I've talked about this before, about how some narcissistic people will lead off the relationship or will, will say things in the relationship early on, like, you're too good for me. I don't deserve you. Um, I have a drinking problem. I have a problem with uh, drugs or whatever it is. You know, they'll say, they'll say these things to you up front. They will directly let you know, say, hey, look, I got problems. I cheat a lot. I beat a lot. I got charges upon charges upon charges, but I want to change. You know, I want to be better for you. You make me want to be better. You want, I want to be, I want to be better for you. You know what I mean? Like I want to be better and make you, I feel different about this right here. I know I, I didn't cheated on my last 10 partners. It's crazy, ain't it? But I ain't never felt this, this connection right here. I ain't never felt a connection like this. By the way, I'm cheating with you. This is this date. It's me cheating. So I'm. This is the last time. I promise. I choose you. <laughs> you know. <what> I, mean? <laughs> I know that. Yeah, I know that sounds ignorant. But some of them will say things like that to you up front. They will. It's like y'all foreshadowing. Narcissists. <laughs> some narcissists are excellent at foreshadowing and letting you know what you are about to get into. They and y'all, it's up. It's this little weird upfront honesty that they give you that allows them later on to come back and say to you, they will say to you, why? Like if they when they start cheating on you, when they start putting their hands on you, when they start doing, they start drinking, when they start doing their drugs or whatever it is, when they say this to, like when they start doing it, they can look you directly into your face, like a face, and like like I'm looking directly into this camera and say. You knew what you were getting yourself into. I told you up front who I was and you made the active choice to be here. They will tell you, look, in, in the mind of a narcissist, and this is not what I'm saying to you, but in the mind of a narcissist, if they tell you the bad stuff up front, you are not a victim. You are a volunteer. They think that you are signing up for it. This is like you, you did, you read like they showed like I showed you the fine print. You know how people try to sneak in stuff. The, 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 they, have, they try to sneak in stuff at the bottom of a contract in very tiny print. So you get it's there. They show you the fine print. They blow it up. They blow up the fine print. The fine print is this big. You know what I mean? The fine print is this big. You can read it. You can read it. It says installation manual. You can read the fine print. They show it to you. So they think you are volunteering for this. They think you are signing up for it. And guess what happens? If you decide to just, okay, I, I, didn't, I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for these behaviors. I didn't sign up for this toxicity. They are going to try to make you feel guilty. Here comes the guilt trip. Here comes, like, the, what, is it, what they used to call it back in the day? A paddy wagon. Here comes the, here comes the paddy wagon of guilt trip. You know what I mean? They'll pop up in here and, and you know, they'll come through and like, you said you would never leave me. You know, I thought you was my ride or die. You really gonna leave me? I told you, you, all these other people out here, they wouldn't have told you nothing. They wouldn't have said nothing to you like that. I told you up front, you gonna leave me? <laughs> That's the type of stuff that they will do, y'all. <laughs> and this is a uh, Abe Lincoln hat I had for a uh, class, yeah, of my acting class. I'm an actor in Raleigh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, but yeah, that's part of it right there, y'all. That's why I just tell people, if you're dealing with a narcissistic person, that's how it goes. They tell you up front so they have an excuse later on. And look, y'all, I, I, I say this to a lot of people. If you give them time to talk, if you give them time, if you give them a chance to explain themselves, they're going to exhaust you. And a lot of times they're going to convince you that you should give them another chance. That, they, that, that whatever point that they're trying to make 
is right. That's what they will do. That's the type of stuff that they will do right there. They will absolutely take this opportunity to speak and just try to drag you through the mud. Like you knew what you were getting yourself into. Ain't no way like you act, you acting surprised like I didn't tell you this. You acted like I didn't tell you this. I told you exactly who I was. I told you I told you exactly what I was going to do. And look at look what I get look what I look at what I get look at my look how I'll get repaid. I could have lied to you. I'm working on it though. I'm working on my honesty. They will blame y'all. They will blame you for being here. Let's keep it real. They absolutely will blame you for being here. It's your choice to be here. Like you made the choice to be here. You absolutely did. So they'll keep doing this type of stuff over and over and over again to the end of the time. And like the longer you stay, the more that you will put the, the more the longer you stay, the worse it gets. Because y'all, if you are accepting the behaviors, why would they change them? I know how your mind works. You would say things like, if I actually love the person, I will work on those behaviors. If I cared about the person, I would truly work on them to try to change those behaviors to make them happy. That's you, not them. That's not how their mind works. Their mind wants to, they, their mind is seeking pleasure and happiness and validation at the expense of others a lot of time, right? At the expense of others. So they're seeking this validation. They're seeking this pleasure. They're seeking it out at the expense of others. You see what I'm saying? That's what happens. That's the mindset. That's the piece that goes into it right there. And that's me being true with it. That's me being, that's, there's the truth to it right there. There's the pieces of it. That's why I tell people all the time, right? You are responsible for protecting your peace. Like when people tell you who they are or show you who they are up front, Believe them, especially in these situations where like some of y'all might know that this person is in a relationship and you get happy that they might pick or choose you or something like that. They are setting you up because in their minds, you know who that you know, the type of person I am. If I and this is going to sound super simplistic and you probably heard this before. If I cheat with you, why don't you think I will cheat on you? Like this is me setting the baseline. I told you, know, I'm cheating. You know I'm a liar. You know I'm a cheater. Why would you think I'm actually going to change my behaviors? And I know why you think it, but the narcissistic person's mind doesn't work that same way. There's just it's black and white. Why would I change what I think you accept? Why would I change what you tolerate? You see what I'm saying? Why would I change a behavior that is tolerated? And it sounds super simplistic. It sounds mean. I know people are like, Lee, that's mean. He's victim. Yeah, I am not victim blaming. I'm telling you literally what goes inside the mind of a narcissist. They are victim blaming. They are victim blaming you because they think you're signing up for it. They think that you are volunteering to be an abuse victim. That's insane. Those are insane thoughts. You are volunteering to be an abuse victim? What the hell? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Y'all can see my voice, my voice cracking. That's, that's that narcissistic, narcissistic puberty kicking in. Ain't no way. <laughs> no, no, puberty. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm full grown. <laughs> uh, but that's the mindset, y'all. So this one, like, if they tell you up front, if you are out of a narcissistic relationship, right? If you are out of a toxic relationship and people tell you this up front, ask yourself this question. I know people, people, I know the pushback I will get on this question is like, we'll leave people don't people deserve a second chance don't people deserve a chance to grow if you are willing to let them grow on your time by all means but ask yourself this question right here what if it happens to you what if they do it to you what if they telling you this up front and it actually happens to you and they will do it to you are you gonna look back at this moment in time like damn they gave me the opportunity to leave and i accepted it three years later four years later five years later 20 years later 30 years later. I'm going to tell you, a lot of people end up regretting not taking this opportunity to leave because a narcissistic person, they will actually make you feel bad. If you do leave, they'll try to make you feel bad. Uh, in the beginning, if they tell you, to, if they divulge this information to you, they'll be like, well, I shouldn't have just told you. Well, nobody nobody else is going to be as honest as I am. It's a, uh, no, nobody else is going to be as honest as I am. As I, am. But I didn't have to tell you that. I told you out of kindness, my own heart. Look at you. I got left for it. 
See, I know, I know next time not to be as honest. What? I know next time not to be as honest. What? <laughs> That's where it goes, y'all. That's the mindset of it. I know next time I shouldn't be as honest because I'm going, I'm going to get held accountable for it. What? <laughs> But it's the space that so many of us fall into, y'all. I want y'all to heal. I want y'all to grow. I want y'all to have happy, healthy relationships after this toxic one. When you go out there in the, in the dating world, if people are telling you the horrible stuff that they do, I'm like I said, again, it's up to you whether or not you want to give somebody a chance that tells you some uh, the horrible, the horribleness of their past. And sometimes, y'all, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna end it on this because I know I like to keep them around 11, 12 minutes. Um, sometimes. They don't even be honest with you up front. Their ex will reach out to you and tell you, hey, look, you're going to regret meeting this person. Hey, look, just, you know, woman to woman, man to man, whatever, you know. You're going to regret this person. They're going to they're going to ruin your life. They ruined my life. I'm just going to give you a heads up, try to save you some time. Some people, not everybody who reaches out to you is crazy, y'all. Not everyone who's reaching out to you is crazy or is out to get you. You see what I'm saying? Are there some bitter exes out there? Yeah. But not everyone who reaches out is trying to harm you. People, some, somebody, some people from their past might be reaching out to try to save you a lot of time, effort, energy, and you know, just resources. Maybe with y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. I truly appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all for being here. Make sure you subscribe to my email list. Like I said, my course is coming out uh, here pretty soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mental Hill, this is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. You are a mental illness rock star and I appreciate you for being here. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the screen to subscribe to the channel and watch another one of my videos in my playlist. There's also a link available up here for you to purchase my kids book. Remember, it's not your fault on Amazon. So check that out. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.